another craft this week with my best friend Tiffany. Hey. So today we're actually doing a kind of like memory shadow box because after high school I feel like you have all these items that are just laying around that you never really get to see, never really get to use, and some days you like want to go look in the box, but then that's that's a problem. You have to pull it out of the thing. Never mind. So what we're gonna do today is take all those like your tassels, your cap and gown, that kind of thing, and actually put it into a shadow box and make a cute little display out of it. So that's what we're gonna do. Yay! Okay, so what you're gonna need for this craft is a shadow box, which I got at Michael's, and then you're going to need Velcro. So what you're gonna do first, take the backdrop, take it from the shadow box and place it on your counter, and then take all the items that you want in your shadow box and start designing. And you can look up ideas like on Pinterest of different like layouts, and we'll show you ours, like maybe right now, how's ours turned out. And this process is probably the longest process right here, is trying to figure out where you want everything. Because it's very delicate. It really is. And yeah. you redo, like I seriously redid mine like five, seven times. Yeah. yeah. So just, just keep tweaking with it, move things, try different things out, because you never know if you're really going to like one thing right here until you get everything on there. So that's probably the first thing is to design your layouts. Once take you it. have it designed, oh, you want to yeah. take a picture on your phone or something, so that when you take everything off, Velcro it and you remember where you put things. Because <laughs> honestly, if you take everything off and you didn't take a picture, it's gone. It's gone forever. Yeah, and you're gonna be like to start all over. You're just that never right again. <laughs> Step number three is to take your tassels, and that's probably the one part we actually left on. So leave your tassels on because those are probably the hardest thing to get back on the way you like them, and Velcro those on. And I actually recommend using two people to do this, one person to lift the little tassels up, and then another person to stick the Velcro underneath them. And how we did the Velcro is we only used like the sharp, pointy side, not the like more velvety side, because the pointy side actually holds on to the Velcro bottom better. So only yeah, it's, the, it's, the, backdrop. The, the, the backdrop has like that, that already kind of a fluff to it, Mm -hmm. So the other side of the Velcro just sticks to it. And then make sure you get enough around every kind of arc and point where you have your tassels going so it holds its shape. Because once you tip that thing over, it's going to Gravity. Gonna be gravity. Gravity. Yeah. Step number four is that if you have a jersey or if you want to put your cap and like your gown in there, then we recommend actually sewing them into the position you want them to. We actually took our jersey and folded it and then did just a couple little stitches in the corner. And if you wanted to take your jersey out and wear it again, you totally can and just cut those stitches off. They're really easy. Just a couple stitches. So after you do cap and get the big major items in there, then you'll put in your medals. And a lot of the medals we actually took off the ribbon because it was just too much, too much going on. Too many stars. I and only we'll, had one star. It's just too much. So much one to do. Star. I had a flower in mine. <laughs> so once you get everything velcroed, you're pretty much ready to go. So click it back into your shadow box and tilt it up. And then obviously with Velcro, you're gonna have some things that just fall off. So do the fall test. Tilt it up, see what falls down, put it back down, re-velcro. And then once you get that all done, you should have a super cute little memory shadow box that you can look at every day and be so happy that you're done with that part of your life. <laughs> I like that part of my life. I was yeah. skinny and fit. <laughs> well, hopefully you like this video, and if you do this craft, make sure to like, send me a picture. I want to see you guys create this. I want to see it happen, but it's probably, <laughs> it's probably not gonna happen. Let's be for real. But make sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you want to see more of me and Tiffany doing crafts. If you yeah. like Tiffany on my channel, hi. <laughs> put a comment down there. Right down, here, always down there, and make sure she gets in more of my videos. We'll see if you like her. <laughs> okay. Subscribe. Bye. This okay. is weird. <laughs> I know this is kind of weird. <laughs> Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> Actually, I sewed it because she's a wimp and doesn't want to sew it. I so. sewed the other thing. You didn't sew anything. I sewed your jersey. No. I sewed. Let's, let's not fight on that. <laughs> So if you do that, make sure you sew your jersey. I know that's a very hard time, but let's be honest, you're not gonna fit into it in a couple of years anyways. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get fat, so. Wow. Jeez, so much so much confidence in our afterlife of well, sports. We put uh, the we put the blue jersey in our thing instead of the white jersey. And I have mine. <laughs> don't tell Myers, don't Myers, don't watch this was ever. <laughs> all stained at the front of it from all the Gatorade and all the dirt and the sweat and the blood. It just it's just blood. <laughs> blood. <laughs>